I did want to go ahead and show some of the results here for the API Saltwater Master Test Kit from my Nano Lagoon, sleeping quietly over there. Um, <clears throat> everything's been sitting for a while, but if it for the tests that I had mentioned that you got to wait five minutes, if you wait longer, it's not going to hurt it. Uh, there just needs to be at least five minutes for the proper chemical reactions to take place. So anyway, we have uh, the nitrite right here. Pretty pretty much looks like the top uh, blue, which is zero parts per million. We have the pH here, which looks to be in between the uh, 8.2 and 8.4, a little closer to the 8.4, um, but that's okay. Uh, we have the nitrate here, which it's a little bit, it's not quite as bright orange as zero parts per million, um, but it's not, or excuse me, yellow, uh, but it's not anywhere close to the five parts per million either. So uh, I'd, I'd lean more closer to zero. So there's definitely a little bit of nitrate in there, but we're still well within normal limits. And then we have ammonia here that uh, is pretty darn close to zero parts per million as well. Actually, it doesn't really look green at all. So looks pretty good. Um, everything seems to be doing well. I do feed uh, pretty much the Blenny and the Stars a little bit since I don't really have much else going on in the aquarium. Um, the Blenny gets fed oh, about once every other day um, and then he still actively picks it picks at everything but there's not too much algae and such left. Um, I do feed, let me see if I can show you here. We have right now we have the brine shrimp and then we have some formula two so that's what's getting tossed in there and I cut them up into tiny little pieces like each each uh, brine shrimp cube and formula two cube um, gets cut into four to six pieces I would say and uh, and that's how I feed uh, so that I'm the only reason I pointed that out is because there are uh, organics and foods and whatnot going into the water and everything seems to be taking care of itself I did mention I wish I would have taken video of the higher ammonia and higher nitrite uh, test Unfortunately, I didn't. My nitrite was actually about as high as one part per million, and then my ammonia was on, was in between the one and two. So uh, I did do a couple water changes, but it's been a while since then. Uh, so I'm thinking that was kind of my spike, and since then it's uh, it's been doing pretty well. Um, so that's all for now. I do plan on adding a sump and a uh, refugium just for fun just uh, kind of practice haven't really made one myself so been looking at a lot of videos and reading up on it so I'm gonna do that out of a cheap like $12 uh, tank so stick around and I'll have a video of that up soon as soon as I uh, figure out how to make an overflow since I didn't think I'd be adding a sump so I don't currently have an overflow but I'm uh, thinking about making a little mini hang on bath thing but anyway that's uh, for another time.